love Disney Oklahoma and one of the big challenges at Disney Oklahoma is a hill or rock known as Viagra. When we got the new Maverick X3, we knew we had to give it a try on the big rock. When you come up to the edge of Viagra and you look off this big rock mound, it doesn't even look doable. When you start down it, you kind of got to be on the gas a little bit because the back end's trying to outrun the front end. It's a little bit sketchy. No one would ride it. This brand new machine that none of us are that familiar with yet. Haven't had a lot of seat time, maybe about a mile or two in this thing. So when we come to Viagra, we wanted to find out and kind of test about what it was going to be like. So we rolled up and down it a few times trying to find the footing and how it was going to work and the weight of the front end on it. And it was a uh, a little bit of a test and go, trying to get the finesse right. The center part of Viagra there is a hump and it's in the water and you kind of got to jump and hope and kind of get lucky bounce. We didn't want to do that. We wanted to do a little bit more skilled, slow it down and crawl it. So we went over to the steeper part, not on the side, but kind of there in the middle where not a lot of people had gone up and started the machine there. Once we rolled up and down it a few times and we kind of got what a feel of what the front end was going to do, it was time to climb Viagra. Once you started up it, it was one of those deals, you were committed. things I think made Viagra the most possible with the longer wheelbase than Maverick X3. When you get into the crew cabs, you get into a lot of top weight. The Maverick has got a very low center height. You set very low into it and these big long trailing arms. It's over a foot longer than a standard Maverick. You're made for the perfect formula to climb to the top. Hey, you want to come experience the Maverick X3 for yourself? Come check us out at Pitbull Power Sports. We've got these things in here and we're